Well, do you know anyone called Thomas or Tom? They get a bit of a bad rap these days, don't they? You know, doubting Thomas. Now, I believe that's really unfair. In fact, I think we should be saying, thank you, Thomas. Why thank you? Well, I think if we look closer at the text of today's gospel, we'll get a bit of an answer. Just by the way, today's gospel is brilliant for our presence. For the gospel says that the disciples were in lockdown. Why lockdown? Well, the gospel again says, for fear of the Jewish authorities. But I bet also for fear of the Roman authorities. Historians tell us that a lot more people were in Jerusalem at this time that the gospel has, for it was Passover week and the Roman authorities were very worried about people coming in and getting together and banding up for uprisings and riots. And so to make sure that people knew who was in charge, they had lots and lots more crucifixions. Or crucifixions up and down the highway, historians tell us. Now, if I'd been one of the disciples, I'd be pretty scared, for our leader has just been brutally crucified. And I'd be worried that I too would be tarred with the same brush and be crucified. And so the best way to cope is to hide away and to keep your head down. Stick together and give each other support. But in sticking together, what ifs occur, don't they? And the what ifs uh, lead to anxiety upon anxiety. In this way, those words of Jesus when he first enters the room are just so precious and wonderful. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. If you're anxious about uh, the COVID-19 virus, if you're anxious about your elderly parents, if you're anxious about trying to juggle homeschooling and work from home, if you're worried about the way to, how can you pay the mortgage? If you're worried about anything, sit please and listen to Jesus saying to you, peace be with you. But I started off by saying we ought to say thank you, Thomas. Why? Well, I believe that he may well indeed be representative of all of us. For he's the one who names his worry, his anxiety. Unless I physically see Jesus, I refuse to believe. Naming something so often clarifies a problem, doesn't it? It just helps towards the healing. Please note that Thomas's concerns were not with Jesus, but were with his fellow disciples. Now, when I have misgivings about the church and anxieties, they're often centred around the bishops, those who claim to be the successors to the apostles. In today's Gospel too, Thomas misses out on seeing Jesus for the, in the first place. Why do you think Thomas misses out? Let's not be harsh on Thomas. There could be loads of reasons why he wasn't in the room at the time. It simply could have been that in this lockdown situation, he decided to go out for a bit of exercise. If you too miss out from time to time, even if you feel that you're missing out on connecting up with Jesus, please don't be anxious. For in today's Gospel and next week's Gospel, we are reminded that Jesus again and again comes looking for us. Now I believe that there are two other reasons for us to be grateful for Thomas. Firstly, this is the only time in the Gospel where Jesus is referred to as God not just Messiah or Lord or teacher or master, but God. And secondly, by means of this episode of the gospel, we've been enabled to hear Jesus saying, happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. That's us, isn't it? 
Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Let's take heart, folks. Hallelujah.